How's it going, everybody? So, had a truck. We had a misfire on it, and we were actually having trouble uh, pinning it down super easily. Um, because it had several reasons to have a misfire. Plugs, wires, compression down on one cylinder. Um, coil out on one cylinder. So we changed the coil, changed the plugs, changed the wires, adjusted the valves, got compression back, got good spark, everything was good, still had a misfire. So then that sent us chasing our tails on the same stuff again. So we knew we were getting fuel, and I knew that the injector was working in some form because the plug was fouled. So I never suspected injectors. Um, so after chasing our tail for a little bit, we pulled injectors. Not an easy vehicle to pull injectors on. Um, and I brought them up to my tester. So we'll go through and do an acceleration test. You can watch the spray on them. You see how that one's a little bit different? So that one's got kind of a spray pattern to it. That one's got a spray pattern, but the more we go, the worse this one gets. And actually, all the spray patterns are, well, that's syncing up with the... So, and then you can see that we've got, let's see, those are two increments, so we got 14 milliliters on that one. We've got about two and a half milliliters on that one, 14 milliliters on that one, and 14 milliliters on that one. So, these three injectors are good. This one's bad. And I actually soaked, uh, soaked all four injectors in the ultrasonic tank um, over the weekend. So, uh, which that didn't solve anything. Let me shut this beeping off. Sorry about that. So now I've got a few things to try. Uh, I didn't run the ultrasonic in these, but I can put them back in the ultrasonic. I'm waiting for it to heat up right now. So, oh, that's probably why I'm waiting. Oh, no, it's not. Heating switch, cleaning switch. So waiting on it to heat up. Um, so I could flip these injectors over backwards, maybe. these The tips on these are kind of complicated. They don't have a seal on them. So flip them backwards and I can inject fuel pressure through them backwards to try to blow anything out that may be in any screens or anything in there. Um, I can set them in the heated ultrasonic tank. I'll let them run for a little while or I'll just end up replacing these injectors um, or at least one injector. So I'm going to see if I can fix it just for the hell of it. These things are 90 bucks a piece. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, usually I just use this machine for Diag. Um, and this is a really good example of, uh, watch, we'll crank up the pressure, of how this thing helps. Because the thing is, you can click these injectors. You can hook up a can. You can hook up pressure to this and click it once. You know, whatever you're going to do. And this thing's going to turn on and it's going to spray fuel. You're going to think that that injector is good and you're going to chase your tail. If you do an idle speed test on this thing, if you do it at one interval, let me crank up the pressure a little bit. Actually, that's not. Yeah, so it's going to show up at idle. Oh, did I already? Let's see. I don't know if I drained that or not. We'll drain that. Let's see if it does run away from it. So, you can tell it's not a great spray pattern and it starts, starts spitting after a while. That's syncing up with my uh, camera rate. But, other than that, if you just had that out, it'd be kind of hard to tell. It, It's not spitting like it looks on the camera. It's actually just putting a stream, but it's a very thin stream compared to the atomized of these three here. 
So it does get away a little bit. But other than that, um, it's flowing. It's, it's not a dead injector, it's a clogged injector. So it'd be a little bit hard to diagnose. But let me see if I can flip these over backwards and clean them and everything, and I'll see if I can get that injector spraying any better. Um, should only take me, I won't show all the specifics, should only take me five or 10 minutes, but I'm gonna play with them for a minute, see where I get. Okay, so all the injectors are upside down. Everything's connected. So these are the three good injectors on the right side. So they'll just kind of push things out. And this one won't push anything out that direction. Need to make sure wires are connected properly, but pretty sure it's not getting anything out that side. So let me play with that. So that's what they look like. Not really a spray pattern. You're just blowing things out backwards. And there is stuff, let me see. There is stuff that comes out can't really my camera is not good enough to see it oh it's actually that one right yeah so this little stuff comes out of it that's actually out of the injector so let me see if I can get this one to blow anything out backwards that first test I had it on an idle speed test so I'll, I'll do an acceleration test and uh, so it actually works at the different pulse rates So see if I'll let it do a full cycle there. You can actually test it, see if it's flowing the same amount as the others. So that time it actually did pretty good. It actually did more than the others. So now let me flip it back over and then uh, I might run it a few more times and then put it in the cleaning tank. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so now they're all flipped back over the right way. We'll do another acceleration test. Run it through the, the range. Bring this thing up to, uh, we'll go like 70 PSI somewhere in there. Oh, flip down my thing. So, spray patterns are definitely looking better. The spray pattern is kind of hard to pick up on camera, but... Okay. 14, 14... 14 and a half, 14 and a little bit maybe. So definitely a lot better. So I think we just blew out whatever it was inside that injector backwards. Um, I'll go ahead, this tank's getting pretty warm here. Using a BioClean concentrated ultrasonic injector cleaning fluid. I'm not supposed to, but I'm using an injector cleaning fluid in this as well, because that's all I had. Uh, I don't know where the bottle's at. Used to be around here. So, um, yeah. So, that fixed it. This machine, if anything, has taught me one thing. That the little cleaning bottles that you put inside your fuel tank... Ain't no freaking way those are going to fix anything because I've never really been able to... You can test this direction. I've never been able to fix an injector from running cleaning fluid. A super... I mean, I, it's Berryman's B12 that I'm using. It's never fixed anything. But turning injectors over backwards sometimes fixes them. Sometimes putting them in the heated solvent tank with the, with the ultrasonic on there. That fixes things sometimes. But just pressurizing a cleaner through the proper direction hasn't fixed anything yet. So I'm going to let these run in the ultrasonic a little bit. I've got brand new O-rings for everything. I'm going to change all the O-rings out and stick them back in the vehicle. So ultrasonic. 
ultrasonic. That's going to click the injectors, operate the panel or whatever it is, while we run heated solvent and an ultrasonic machine. So we'll try that a little bit, see if we can get them a little bit more equally spraying. But other than that, they're definitely good enough to run for now. So I'll let those things run and see how the truck runs after I put it together. All right, here's right before I take them out and go put them in the vehicle. So we let them soak, heated them up. Close the valve, acceleration test, same pressures. Spray patterns look better. So, we actually gained a little bit. So it was down, it was, uh, it was at 14, that second line. We gained another 2 milliliters in that. And they are all... That one, let's see. They're all very even. So that one's at almost at that fourth line. That one is 3.5. Very, very close. A lot better than they were. That one's down at the third line, probably. Maybe three and a half there as well. And that one's almost to the fourth, so. Very, very good. So, yeah, that'll, uh, that'll work. We'll go put them in the vehicle. And drive the vehicle. So, if this vehicle, the injectors are very hard to get to. So, I wouldn't suggest it for that necessarily because uh, it could be an injector problem and the injector is going to fail again and then you're back to, back to pulling injectors out and testing them again and seeing which one you need to replace or replacing all four. If it was very easy to get to, um, I would actually do this even as a maintenance thing, just to check injectors every once in a while. Um, just as a preventive maintenance thing. Uh, on the other hand, even if they are hard to get to, you put new injectors in it, and it could be a fuel line that's falling apart, trash inside the fuel line, a fuel filter that is falling apart, and a little piece got stuck inside the injector. You put a new injector in there, you spend 90 bucks a piece, $360 plus labor, and those pieces clog up the injector again. Um, kind of hard, you know, to flush out the system. Mechanics are not going to clean your fuel lines and everything like you think they would. Um, we're going to go in there and slap another set of injectors in there and get it, get it out of there and, um, if, if a little piece of something clogs up the injectors again, most mechanics are going to slap another injector in there. Um, yeah, you would have to you would have to spend a lot of time and a lot of money to clean your injector lines, and you don't know if that's what it is or not. Um, so for me, this is a free process. I stick injectors in there, and I can see how long they last again. I'm pretty sure it was just a little piece of something clogged in that injector. I would place money that this will work for a very long time. So um, I will give you guys an update in the future. So hopefully this helps somebody out. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you can. And we'll see you on the next video.